Hi everyone, I am Rahul. I am Rashid. I am Libin. I am Vishnu. Hi, I am Nibin. Today we are going to discuss about the various processes in HR department. And I'm also one of these people that I, I don't really care about being right, you know. I just care about success. And they showed me really uh, three things. But I was so blinded by the first one that I didn't even really see the other two. Uh, one of the things they showed me was object-oriented programming. They showed me that, but I didn't even see that. The other one they showed me was really a networked computer system. They had over 100 Alto computers, all networked, using email, et cetera, et cetera. I didn't even see that. I was so blinded by the first thing they showed me, which was the graphical user interface. I thought it was the best thing I had ever seen in my life. Now, remember, it was very flawed. What we saw was incomplete. They'd done a bunch of things wrong, but we didn't know that at the time. It's still, though, they had the germ of the, of the idea was there, and they'd done it very well. The hiring process is the process of reviewing applications, selecting the right kind of candidates to interview, testing the candidates, choosing between candidates to make the hiring decision and performing various pre-employment tests and checks. Steve Jobs made sure that Apple Store employees are unique individuals whose varied talents and experiences bring value to the way they connect people with Apple. So whether you are analytical or creative, tech savvy or a people's person, the Apple Store provides an ideal opportunity to challenge yourself. There's a little bit of security in knowing that your company is investing in you. And so there's a culture, it's a mindset, it's a, a sense of confidence that a CEO can give their employees to help build loyalty. Uh, and it's, it's inexpensive compared to the retraining and the rehiring and the losing people uh, side of the business. You know, to be able to invest in somebody a small amount of a few thousand dollars a year and keep them, keep them happy. We've seen so many surveys over the years where, you know, people don't leave because of money. Job training is a method of preparing an employee to work in an organization to perform according to the task it is he is given. Many organizations feel that job training is an essential part of performing and uh, reaching the successfulness of the organization. Job training can be uh, done through on-the-job training and off-the-job training. On-the-job training mainly includes job rotation, coaching and uh, job assignments. Uh, off the job training includes lectures, seminars, simulations and other techniques. You think you've performed in each one of the key performance areas that are on your appraisal form so I can get your feedback then we can have a discussion around that. Carol now show us how to give some feedback on good performance. And I agree Stephen with your self-assessment. In fact I really want to congratulate you on also referred to as a performance review, performance evaluation, career development discussion, or employee appraisal is a method by which the job performance of an employee is documented and evaluated. Performance appraisal are a part of career development and consist of regular reviews of employee performance within organization. A performance appraisal is a systematic, general, and periodic process that assesses on individual employee performance and productivity in relation to certain pre-established criteria and organization objectives. The channel of communication must be open and easily accessible so they know who to go to to raise their grievances. Grievance handling. Grievance is a formal dispute between an employee and management on the conditions of employment, grievances are complaints that have been formally registered in accordance with the grievance procedure. And there are some steps for grievance handling. The first step is acknowledge the dissatisfaction. It simply means finding the dissatisfaction that is faced by an employee in an organization. And the second step is define the problem. It simply means we are finding the problems and defining the problems into the top management for studying the problem faced by the employees. And the third step is get the facts. It simply means finding the facts behind the problem faces. 
because there are many problems faced in the faced in an organization because of many reasons and behind that many facts are there so and top management should find the reasons behind the problems and the fourth step is analyze and decide the in this fourth step uh, the top management is analyzing the problem and deciding what the solution that is given to the employees and the fifth step is follow up it simply means implementing the steps for solution hello uh, in this brief video i'll be talking about 10 important elements 10 key things you'll need to know about payroll as a function in UK but before that I would like to clarify one misconception that's out there many people believe payroll is a very complicated job uh, I would say no not at all it's not a complicated job you don't have to be super intelligent you don't have to work very hard you don't have to have specialized knowledge to be able to run payroll successfully and error free and effectively however due to the nature and sensitivity are you with me due to the nature and sensitivity of the function itself you need to have certain skills you need to have certain characteristics I have categorized them into two number first you need to have a very good attention to details because there's too many bits and pieces of information that you need to consider number second and most importantly you need to be a very organized person because if you are not an organized person it payroll management payroll management simply means money paid to the employees it plays major role in the company for several reasons from the accounting perspectives payroll is a crucial because payroll is and payroll taxes considered affect to the netting of most companies and they subject to law and regulation. The payroll of a company, they are used commonly two things. First one is the total amount of money the company pays to the employees. The second one is the company records its employees' salaries, wages and bonuses.